everyone, so today's video is gonna be on the reasons why you think you have nothing to wear and how you can overcome it. Because with all of my videos, I really try to kind of empower you and encourage you to have more confidence wearing whatever it is that you love. So I hope you enjoy this video and that it helps you and let's get into it. So reason number one could be because you have more trends than basics. So a good ratio for your wardrobe, just to make things easier for you so you don't get in this kind of style rut is to aim for 70% basics in your wardrobe and then the other 30% of your wardrobe you can fill with trend pieces so these could be pieces that are you know very on trend at the moment let's say for example a hot pink tie-dye dress or I don't know something acid wash something that is not so much a classic piece or it could be a piece which is cut in kind of more of a trending way so instead of just a classic um, black fitted blazer the trend piece would be like an 80s style blazer with the shoulder pads that's kind of cropped around the waist um, so it's good to kind of have the 70 30 split just so that you've got a great mix of trends which you can mix and match with your basics and then when you've kind of had enough of those trendy pieces or you know you just don't want to wear them all the time you've got those basics to fall back on another reason why you may think you have nothing to wear is because you don't plan your outfits in advance now I know this is really hard to do I don't always do it um, so I'm talking from a place of here which I don't even do all of these things but planning your outfits in advance can really help you from feeling this way so the best way to do this is to hang the pieces together in your wardrobe so you could actually plan the outfit hang the skirt and the top you know for example together in your wardrobe so that when you're looking quickly in the morning for example you can just pick that out and you know that it goes together you can also plan your outfits by taking photos of yourself wearing the outfit so let's say you've got a bit of free time on the weekend uh, where you're not doing anything like a Sunday for example and um, put a few outfits together take some photos in them or even write them down as notes in your phone just give yourself somewhere to kind of look back to so you can just look at that and kind of follow Follow it um, it just saves you so much time and so much kind of thinking time in the morning as well so another reason why you may feel like you have nothing to wear is because you don't style things differently so what I mean by this again is you've got your classic pieces let's say and you always kind of style them in the same way you always wear that white t-shirt with your blue jeans you always wear your blazer just on normally you can style things in different ways and this can give you a little bit of a different feel to the outfit and make you feel like you're wearing something new so for example you could wear the blazer over your shoulders or you could wear that white t-shirt with a white skirt instead just kind of step out of your comfort zone and style things a little bit differently and experiment with the pieces that you have you know tie your t-shirts up tuck them in a bit differently everything like that just gives you a whole different feel and makes it feel like you've got a new piece even though you're still using the old things that you have in your wardrobe already and this next point kind of follows on from what I was just saying but you always go for the same safe pieces by really looking into your wardrobe seeing what you have and seeing if you can style them in different ways will again just give more life into your wardrobe and make you feel like you have new things to wear even though the exact same pieces so a good way to kind of mix up your style as well is to look on things like Pinterest or YouTube or TikTok for some outfit inspiration. So for example, if you have a piece, let's say a white t-shirt, just for an example, you can search on Pinterest, white t-shirt outfits and loads of outfit inspiration will come up and you can look at those and try and pick out different things that you may have in your wardrobe as well that they're wearing and it just makes it easier for you to style those pieces together. Another reason why you may feel like you have nothing to wear is because you've outgrown your style. I feel like this is such a huge one, which maybe you have to revisit every like five, maybe even less, maybe even every three years. And that's because obviously as people, we change all the time, we're always growing. Um, so sometimes what may have been your style or suitable for your lifestyle three years ago doesn't really suit your lifestyle anymore. This is especially a, kind of a tip where if you wear a lot of workwear and things like that, maybe your lifestyle has changed, you've got a different job, you have to wear kind of different style outfits, maybe you wanna look, look a little bit more mature and professional. Um, all of those things can make you feel like your current wardrobe doesn't work for you anymore. So the best way to do this is again, search for ways to style what you have already, but if there isn't any kind of way you can make it work or you just don't like the piece anymore, just donate it, get it out of your wardrobe. There's no point holding on to things 
which kind of don't work for you anymore. Because your wardrobe has to work for you, you don't work for your wardrobe. So make sure that all of your pieces really do work for your lifestyle and your job and everything that you need them for because you don't need the extra stress in your life. And this last tip is that you just can't find your clothing pieces easily. Maybe, and it always happens to me, you just put things away, you haven't really organized your wardrobe, everything's a bit chaotic and you can't really see what you've got. So it ends up getting you into a little bit of a style rut where you just pick the first thing out of your wardrobe or your drawers and you're not really using up all of your wardrobe and a lot of it's just kind of chucked to the back. This is another thing where if you don't keep on top of your washing and your ironing, this happens so much because I feel like me especially, and I can only talk from my own experiences, but if I don't keep on top of my washing and my ironing I forget that I have those pieces and then you end up buying new stuff to replace those pieces that you already have in your wardrobe and then you have duplicates of things I'm not talking identical but I don't know maybe three or four white t-shirts that you don't need on top of what you've already got if you was just to wash your things and iron your stuff faster um, you'd have those in your wardrobe all the time and you wouldn't need to constantly consume new pieces so definitely try your best to keep on top of your washing and your ironing and also organizing your wardrobe as well if everything is clean and tidy and you can see what you have it just makes getting dressed and finding what you need to wear so much easier but that is it so I really hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you did like it because that would really help me out let me know your thoughts in the comments too do you have any tips that you feel really helps you to get the most out of your wardrobe because I would love to hear them as well have a great day and I'll speak to you all in my next video bye guys